Where are we? Out of Rem. Remetic system. Grid M42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grom. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Grom. The Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, no judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now! Could we talk? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, their Admiral's flagship captured. But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. And when they were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack, and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire, therefore they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Baradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Baradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Baradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Viradium, halt the rebel assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this.
Emperor of the Galaxy all he likes. But I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. Gram may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. Go. Prepare your ship. Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters. And that's what you do best. Titan is outbound. Colonel Growl, I've ordered Titan Squadron to patrol the area in preparation of the enemy attack. Good. My munitions depot was as valuable as it is volatile. I expect you to defend it with your lives. Titan Squadron, split up and patrol the depot. Find the Paradium before any rebels arrive. Copy, Gray. Titan 3, follow me. ships in the area, target and scan them to locate the Paradium. Titan 3, split up and find it. Scanning freighter. Titan 3, do the same. No Paradium. Any luck? doesn't have a radio, but I'm detecting concussion missiles, heavy ion cannons, and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan 3. Got a plan. During the Jabez incursion, our forces used Paradium, moved it with Zeta-class cargo shuttles. 
If Grohl has beradium, he might be doing the same. We use beradium strikes to drive the rebels out of hiding at Job S. But it didn't flush the rebels out. It incinerated them. Now it's my turn. Enemy fighters 
position. Take it out. Enemies in 
coming. They've sent in a frigate. Destroy it immediately. Shen, take point with ion bombs. We'll follow your lead. I'll clean down their shields. Titan 3, you'll focus on the turrets after the frigate's shields go down. Amos, Gram. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Gram need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Saul, but remember to look at what's going on around you. With that beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. 
I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. Our Baradian munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan Three, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. And while Titan attacks Moncala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gors disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge, just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Thank you. 
Locked on.
off those transports or push forward to the next target. It's your call, three. Attacking civilians. How much lower can the Imperials sink? This is so precious. Let's press on when you're ready. I'm in formation. Squadron. I'm on your way. 
wing. Oh, they're sensing the silver coronet. The flagship. Anvil's getting overconfident. Yeah. Damned Imperials. So eager to die. Let's make it happen.
Repeat, fall back. It's done. Music to my ears. Thanks for making it happen, three. Even I'm impressed. The Republic will rush to defend Moncala and leave Nadiri wide open. Excellent work. Our final target lies ahead. Let's talk. You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's a sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carroll needs next. Our diversion was a success. The Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you... Titan Squadron will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Baradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Baradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Baradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. So, on to Nadira. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Baradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Baradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The rebel's squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. Perfect. What can I get for you?
Check it out.
Let's move on.
location. Eu 
people needed you, Lyndon. But you weren't here. Is there anyone you won't turn your back on? <laughs> Anything you want to say? Say it. All stations! Fire on that ship! They were in our sights, and Captain Carroll just let them go. What could she do with our missile guidance scrambled? We could have done something. Now Lyndon James and Vanguard Squadron are laughing at us. They're running scared, dragged down by an injured fleet. If anyone's laughing, it's Captain Carroll. Let's just get to the briefing room. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But... In order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the Rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon Javes, and Vanguard. Ah, oh, yes. Vanguard's squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. 
a problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. <laughs>